And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Game two of the Victoria's Secret versus Nexus Elite show match. Ari going absolutely crazy as Callista binds with her support. And both these teams will head on to the rift. It looks like Nexus Elite is not in LCS order, unfortunately. So a second while I get these all in order. Now it looks like Jinx and Braum are going to the top lane. If this is a lane swap coming out of Nexus Elite, high level strats coming out, maybe something that they were trying to save as <laughs> Absolaric gets caught out of the jungle and he doesn't know which way to go. Charm will land and that'll be first blood picked up by Rambo on that Callista of all people. Tragedy strikes as first blood goes over to Victoria's Secret with an early invade. Great scout out coming out from Waffle getting his team vision. Uh, at you know, Jarvin saw the ward and, you know, naturally tried to take it down before it turned invisible. Uh, but the passing choice, uh, getting caught up between a rock and a hard place, um, ends up eating a charm from Ari. And First Blood does go over to Victoria's Secret. Uh, and it this does look like a lane swap coming out from Nexus Elite. Now, Absalaric is going to see if he can take the Nexus, uh, Victoria's Secret's blue buff. Um, they do have it warded. Planeswalker is trying to do his best to damage Absalaric, bringing him low, but the smite will go out uh, as he tries to delay this as long as possible. Planeswalker needs to be a little bit careful. The Braum Q could land and land him in some serious trouble. Uh, but it looks like Christopher is going to be 2v1ing down here. Planes Waffle is here to help Planeswalker and Dinos is going to have to burn a flash to get away. But he does get out with his life. Now, already this does... <laughs> This lane swap isn't working in the favor of Nexus Elite. They didn't bring Christopher to follow the jungler to gain some levels as the bot lane would be pushing up. Uh, and Waffle actually finds Apelastic and gets himself a kill. The harass from Planeswalker on that blue dropped a J4 low enough that Raptors plus Waffle ended up in him dying, not wanting to give up his buffs. As Waffle is still looking in the jungle. Nice charm landing out from Valorin, uh, dropping Christopher quite low. He's trying to lifesteal off of this minions with that Cho'Gath passive. It looks like Waffle just went toward J4's buff as he tries to gank top lane with Planeswalker, but this is going to be a 2v2. J4 nowhere near the fight as he is just looking to take his Krugs. Rambo and Valorant putting a lot of pressure onto Christopher, but he is still going strong. Able to heal up thanks to popping both his pots and that Chogath passive. Now, this lane swap was supposed to work in favor of Nexus Elite because they did not want the danger of that charm landing on to Reflux on that Jinx, um, with Jinx not having the mobility uh, to get away from the more mobile Callista. But again, the disaster of First Blood and the second pickup has definitely bought J4 quite behind um, of Waffle on that Evelyn. Um, but it looks like they are going to play it out uh, and not rotate that top lane back down. Uh, 
Absalaric is going to help Christopher uh, push out the duo lane of Victoria's Secret just a little bit. Going to grab some of that XP share as well. Considering he is quite behind of Waffle. Full level. Now both the junglers have picked up Chilling Smite for themselves. Uh, Evelyn definitely wants to gank as much as possible uh, with it, but considering the fact that J4 was so low, I I question that choice. Uh, maybe going with Trailblazers to try to catch back up and farm uh, instead, considering the fact that Evelyn can't really clear the jungle as fast as she used to. But it looks like Waffle is going for another gank as Planewalkers go on, goes on to Dino. Uh, Reflux is dropped really low. Nice chilling smite has to force the pop, the heal, and flash. Red is ticking, but the pot will be enough to save her as they turn around and kills Waffle. Uh, kill goes over to Dino's uh, thanks to that Braum passive. But LeBlanc is going to pick up a solo kill on to Looney. The revenge from last game is real. Ignite was able to pick that up. Valorant goes on. Charm misses, but the Ren stacks on to Kristoff. Drops him low enough, uh, forcing him under the safety of his turret. Valorant gets a nice love tap from the turret. As Planewalkers will enjoy a nice CS lead towards his top counterpart in the bot lane. Kristoff definitely getting the shorter end of the stick in this as he is a full 15 CS behind that top Hecarim. Rambo and Valorin definitely doing their job to deny uh, CS from Kristoff. Uh, the one saving grace that Kristoff can kind of take is the fact that he didn't die to the duo. Um, he was still, he might have not been able to see as as much, but he was still able to get the XP from the minions. Um, and now with that wave being where it is, uh, he can definitely has a bit of time to freeze that wave though. Freezing on Cho'Gath, but the three-man gank coming on to Illuminate down the bot lane. Smite gets dropped. Ezreal ulti uh, will not be enough to pick up the kill as Illuminate will back off with his life. But the siege onto that mid tower, uh, they will be able to do some good damage. TP coming out from Kristoff to save it uh, will force Looney and Planeswalker out. Illuminate goes in with not a lot of health. Ulti coming out from Planeswalker will pick up the kill onto Illuminate. Bad choice to go in uh, with LeBlanc, but Kristoff is trying to answer onto Looney Tune. Meanwhile, top lane, Dinos goes on to Rambo as Reflux is trying to run away with his life, but the but the orb will be enough as they pick up a kill in the top lane. Meanwhile, Kristoff is able to keep his life, but not for very long as Planeswalker does pick up the solo kill onto here. J4 not able to do much, but the dive onto Dinos, they de Rambo and Valorin definitely doing a great job. Balancing the turret ego on that one, Dino's not being able to do anything at all as he was out of mana. Forced to accept his fate as the tower AI did not agree with him. Now, Rocket coming out from Reflux out of nowhere will pick up a kill on to Rambo. Rambo definitely not expecting that at all. Valorant now backing up as he is all alone in that top lane. Three members of Nexus Elite have rotated up there, though. Kristoff uh, trying to see what he can do. It looks like they want to push out that T1 tower there. Now, if Kristoff does show, it looks it would be an opportune mo moment for Victoria's Secret to go for that uh, dragon, considering the fact that they are positioned. But instead, they will try to rotate 
Waffle and Rambo up to the top lane uh, to answer that. But the tower does fall. Kristoff will get caught out a little bit. Rupture will land onto Rambo, uh, stopping the chase. Illuminate is quite low, but Waffle goes into the three men, gets caught out with the passive Braum. Planeswalker will come in and try to save the day as Waffle is running for his life. They do pick up a th the double kill. It is going to be a three for nothing double kill for Rambo on that Callista as they are now making their way to the mid turret. It looks like they are looking for either the mid turret or Dragon. Um, they doesn't look like they've decided. Valorant is heading over to that Dragon pit and they are making the transitions to Dragon. Ping's going down uh, Nexus Elite does have the Dragon Pit warded, so they will see the timer if Victoria's Secret commits. It looks like they do not, though. Uh, Planeswalker definitely just going to clear out that bottom minion wave. Valorant going in aggro. Dinos is here, though, to protect his team. Q does land on Looney. Rupture missing, uh, and Looney and Valorant are able to disengage Cleanly ignite ticking onto Valorin and the last tick will that uh, illuminate a kill. Uh, Valorin definitely going in a little too ham with that spirit rush and will pay for it with his life. Looney Toon is definitely able to disengage though. Um, as Kristoff uh, finds a pink ward in the jungle. Rupture lands onto Waffle. Nice silent. And the Rockets from Reflux is able to pick up a kill. Definitely a closer game uh, for these two teams as they will take out the middle tier one of Victoria's Secret. Now, a great vision coming out from Nexus Elite this game. It they have the bottom river definitely warded. They have full vision of that Baryon. Planeswalker, ballsy move on his part, uh, but he does have their blue warded, steals it away. Uh, Illuminate has found him though. Looney Tune and Rambo flank from the side of the Baron. Dino's taking a lot of damage before his team comes up. He will fall to Callista. Looney Tunes picks himself up. Kristoff in the back line. The Cataclysm misses two members. And nice ulti coming up from Rambo. And I can at. I can't see J4 getting away with this flash from Valorant will secure the kill. And that is going to be a 4 for nothing for Victoria's Secret. Uh, Nexus Elite did not even finish up the dragon. They weren't able to. Uh, the flank coming from Rambo and Looney Tunes was able to distract Dino long enough for his team to abandon dragon and come in nice ultra mega death rocket coming up for jinx will hit waffle dropping him quite low but valoran is there to tank the dragon and the first dragon will go over to victoria's secret a lot later than last game but still first dragon and nice flash coming out from christopher to stick onto looney Tunes, but he does have a double buff ezreal um able to put the damage on to Kristoff. Uh, Looney Tunes favors it and snipes him. Kristoff definitely underestimating the power of double buff Ezreal. Planeswalker meanwhile in the top lane will find Absalek and ulti coming out. Smite drop and easy kill picked up for Planeswalker onto that J4. Looney Tune uh, finds himself getting caught out from Illuminate. Uh, Looney Tune favors that engagement. Ignite dropped and will pick himself up the solo kill. Again, double buff as is probably one of the scariest things. Uh, scariest champions to have double buffs, mind you. And uh, Victoria's Secret. I, uh, Vic Victoria's Secret definitely running away with the lead that they've established themselves a little slower on the on the get-go this game but they are slowly ramping up nexus elite not respecting the damage spikes that they have uh, opting out for this one versus one kind of duels that they are not winning kristoff definitely gets chunked out by rambo but he does have illuminate there to support him but Varen is waiting in the wings trying to see if he can land a charm from the flank uh, Ezreal ulti will miss 
the two. Reflux gets caught out by Planeswalker. He does have Waffle here to support him. Dinos is trying his very best to block as much damage, but it looks like it's not going to be enough. No, J4 is here to wait in the wings. Waffle is forced to back off. They do see him though, and Cataclysm gets dropped on Waffle's head. He has nowhere to run, uh, and Absolaric will pick up himself. Kristoff did come just in case. Ultra Mega Death Rocket will not hit anything. Uh, she was trying to find the weakened Planeswalker. A Looney Tune will find Illuminate. Nice Arcane Shift to dodge the chains. Illuminate will get out of dodge. They're not favoring that. He does have his whole team to find their turnaround from Planeswalker. Will net himself the kill on Illuminate. Illuminate not thinking that Planeswalker would turn around on that. Looney Tune will pick himself up another kill. Meanwhile, with all that aggression, top lane, Rambo and Varen will net themselves an inhibitor turret. Nice ultimate coming up from Rambo to save his support. Nifty little tricks, but they go to Dino who's solo defending the inhibitor turret, not on the same par with his team. Definitely some miscommunication coming up as Victoria's Secret is picking apart Nexus Elite. Rambo picks himself up a kill on Illuminate as he just stood there taking out the damage. Absolaric is taking so much rend stacks. Uh, Rambo detonating those, dropping him well below half health. As finally Rambo and Valorin uh, decide to back off after getting themselves an inhib for their troubles. Meanwhile, Waffle is doing quite a bit of damage to that tier 2 middle as Victoria's Secret is now deciding to rotate about, uh, rotate uh, the map. Heading over to the top lane as Looney Tune picks himself up the last tier 2 of Nexus Elite. It looks like... Nexus Elite is not rotating very well. They don't have their jungle warded and Reflux will pay the price as he gets assassinated by Waffle. The picks from Victoria's Secret are real this game. And Nexus Elite cannot answer considering the fact that they do not have the wards in their jungle. Uh, Absolaric will fall to Looney Tune as well. Ignite was able to pick up that kill uh, as they tried to uh, chase... Uh, Victoria's Secret and the turnaround. Nexus Elite uh, just does not expect Victoria's Secret to turn around when they are low uh, and come in. And the vision, and it's all because Victoria's Secret have more vision than Nexus Elite. Uh, they were able to set up a great pick in their own jungle considering the fact that Victoria's Secret had all the vision that they needed. Um, Nexus Elite is definitely playing blind and they're always one step behind on Victoria's Secret's rotations. Now as Super Minions are streaming into the base, uh, Nex uh, Victoria's Secret have full control of the map. Uh, Dragon up in 30 seconds will probably go uh, to Victoria's Secret considering the fact that there is no wards for Nexus Elite onto that dragon and they do have to deal with the super minions uh, streaming into their base. Absalaric is by himself trying to defend uh, those precious Nexus turrets from going down. Not the best person that you want to uh, clear a minion wave. But here it is, Dragon is finally live as Victoria's Secret collapses onto it. Uh, and meanwhile, Planeswalker will go on to Illuminate, forcing out the Flash. Ultimate coming out from Planeswalker will net himself the kill as he w takes on the full squad of Nexus Elite. Finally, his team comes to back him up. Valoran, Spirit Rushing to and fro will net himself up a kill on Dinos. Uh, Planeswalker is going 
balls deep in the base of Nexus Elite and he gets out alive getting picking himself up a kill on Kristoff as Rambo goes on to Reflux forcing the flash out uh, as they siege the middle inhib turret uh, they will net it up net it for themselves as super minions are assaulting the Nexus turret of Nexus Elite, Illuminate will try to go in to assassinate but pays for its life with a Ren stacks. Rambo going off on that Callista as he dances in front of Nexus Elite's spawning pool. Netting himself another kill, Valoran too, net, uh, picking up a kill with that charm as they are absolutely destroying Nexus Elite's base. And here it is folks, a 20 minute game coming out from Victoria's Secret, sweeping this best of 3-2-0 in dominant fashion.